Hi everyone, welcome back. Steve here with another video. So, episode 2, Thornton Farm. This episode, we are going to be looking at uh, a couple of course plays I want to try and do. The one is setting up a slurry. A slurry course play. To, uh, it's obviously done on the uh, fertilise and seeding option of the course play. So, when you're doing a slurry course, you have to record, sorry, you have to generate one course for the field and then you have to actually record this course here, I'm, well, I'm not actually recording it right now, I'm heading out to start the recording of this course, uh, it'll all come apart in a minute, but yeah, uh, it's fairly easy to do and then what you do is you load both courses into course play together and it will run both courses, so whenever it gets to the field, uh, it will then move over to the generated course. So. Just going to head up here to field 30. It's up here in the somewhere, he says. Yeah, left up here. This is field 30 here on the left hand side. So. Because the size of the tracks around here, I thought, well. We don't want to be going with anything too big. Uh, the uh, fields are not massive, so that's why I went for this one here. This size is tighter. So what you do is two ways you can do it. You can either drive your course first and then generate it. So just west we're here, I like to generate the course in here, and then we know we've got the correct field. So usual stuff. So we want to be in uh, this one here, not the one that's highlighted in green, this one here that's highlighted in blue, that is flashing, and that is fertilise and seed. We want to get in here, generate the course, so the reason why I like to come to the field is to physically to make sure I've got the right field. I know it sounds a bit silly, but if you press on the little blue eye there, when you scroll up to the field 30, you should get the blue line out round it all, like so, and then that's just my confirmation that this is the correct one. So this is a 14.8 working width on this, I just like to double check that as well, and the uh, 14.8 width, yep, then I know that's correct, and our starting corner is going to be so if you look at the map on the bottom left hand side, the starting corner is going to be northwest. So northwest and we're going to be heading probably southbound. It's probably going to be the best bet. Yeah. Now return to first point, very important. Yeah. Headland. Uh, yeah, I will have a headland, and I will do the headland first, and then we will go on to the up and down motion, and we will have two headlands, that should give us enough space on the turning around on the up and down motion. So, just to run through that again, feel 30, click on the eye just to make sure you get the blue thing, working with 14.8, check that within your, uh, your shop. Starting corner, it's totally up to you where you want the starting corner. I'm choosing northwest, heading southbound, and we want to return to the first point. So basically, what that is, whenever it's finished, as I'm not finished, but the tankard's empty, it will always go back to the first point and then pick up the, set, the next course. So that's the idea behind that. Uh, the headland, we wanted to do the headland first, and that's in an anti clockwise direction, and then it's going on to, it'll do two headlands before it starts in the up and down motion on the centre of the field. So, this little button here, the blue one, this is a create core or generate course. That's it, generate it. Right, what we need to do is, we need to try and find, which is over there. Right, so that's where it's going to start at, the generate it course. So what I recommend you do is, come here, This is our exit and entry point, so you want to save that out, field 30, uh, what was it, 15, 
what size tanker was it? Escape. 14.8 meter slurry. So let's try that again. So field. 30. 14.8 meter. Slurry. There we go. Hit enter. Right. Delete that course. Not delete it, but just get rid of that course. And now we are going to go and record the normal course or the road going course. So if you start about here somewhere, what's going to happen is, as I said before, when the tanker finishes away down here somewhere and it's empty, it will always come back to the start point of that last course that we just generated, which was over there behind the tractor. It will always come back to that because we're making it come back to the first point. That's the whole idea of this. Uh, because that way there, I know that I have a straight run from that start point to this exit field, or to, to exit this field. If you've got a bendy field like this, and you don't do that, it could end up away down around the corner somewhere, and it will try and come to where you're going to start this course at, which is basically, it'll just drive in a straight line, and you probably won't make it. So I know from starting over that corner, I can get pretty much back to there in a straight line, from anywhere in this field and then it will come from there over to the st start of this course which we're going to generate now so as I say in all of my course play videos which is on the channel for 2015 farm sim I've not done very many for 17 at the minute but they're all pretty much the same uh, the smoother you are on recording a course like this here the easier it will be and you will have less hassle with it uh, no big sharp turns, no great speeds, uh, stuff like that, you know, and just take your time with them. Because course play, <laughs> you need to mother it. It's not perfect, it's not. It's definitely not perfect, and you will need to mother it. You will get uh, things stating that there's a tractor slipping or a tractor stuck in traffic or whatever, and uh, it just gets. It's a good system, but it, it's not perfect. But anyway, so when you're driving this course here, you obviously want to be driving past the slurry refill point, which is in the farm. And there's no need to set a weight in point or anything like that. You just drive past it, and it will automatically pick up on it whenever you drive the whenever it drives the course itself. It will automatically stop at the slurry trigger. So. Keep this as neat as possible. He says, Right, go to the farm. Slurry trigger is just over here on the way into the field, and I'm going to use the field to get back out again. So, as I say in all my courses as well, try and keep the farm to a one way system for course play. It's less hassle. So, there's where that would fill up at. Might as well fill it up whilst it's here. I'll do it. And I'm just using the field to go right round and use it as a one-way system so I'm not turning and coming out the same way or anything. That's one of the, an, another good point on this is uh, if you've got more than one course set up at any one time, like you're running manure or something out of a pit, uh, you will definitely want to set your farm up with a one-way system. It's just less hassle, and it's just less hassle for you. It means that you're not mothering it as much, uh, looking after it, and having the tractors colliding with each other. So it's just back to the field again, as nice and neat as possible. Trying to stay on the road, Stephen. If 
us for just getting back to this field. Like to, the opportunity, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please hit the red button. If you've got any comments on this, uh, please feel free to comment on the comment section below and give it a thumbs up if you're liking it. So, we will be doing more of these. I want to try and get this whole farm automated with course play. So we're nearly there now and we're just going to drive back into the field and stop beside where we just started at. And then it will just do a straight drive. Or it's even better, because we've got the end of the field, let's stop over here where the start point is. Like so, and then, yeah, see I can pretty much get back to, or start anywhere in that field there, from there. So, what we do here is we stop, course record, we save this out as field 30, slurry, refill, course. There we go. Right. Now what we do is we come back out of that, go into our saved things, load in the 14.8 slurry for field 30 and then load in the refill course. And as a simple, make sure we're on this one here which is fertilize and drive course. There we go. Doing the two headlands first. Where are the lights on? I don't know. Must be getting dark. Well, it's pretty dark actually. So that's pretty much how you do that there. I'm going to leave that to run. And I'm going to put two tractors here set up with ploughs. going to I'm going to set up two tractors here to plow field. I already started this and then I thought well you know what I might as well do a course on it, a, a lesson on it. So. What we've got is we've got the fent on a plough and Ok, as you can see this field's nearly half done it is, so we're just going to ignore this field being nearly half done and I'm going to reset this back up again, show you how to actually physically use two tractors on how to plough a field. So, we're going to go delete field 13 plough. Which is there. Right, follow me off. Okay, so we're going to use two tractors to plow this field. Pretty simple to understand. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going into field work this time, which is this one here, field work. We're going to generate a course, and yet once again, field 13, we're on there, hit the little icon and we know we've got the correct field. So, these two, sorry, one of these ploughs is, let me see where it is, where are the ploughs? There. That's what we've got, we've got the Amazon. And they're three metres wide each. So, 
If you can imagine, I'll tell you what I'll do. Pull that round to the side, make this a little bit easier to imagine. We we'll talk through it first, and then I'm going to show you what to do. So, get the resource off. Right, so if you can imagine these two tractors, so the left tractor's got a 3 metre working width and the right tractor's got a 3 metre working width. So what we need to do in here is, we need to, the working width of the both of them multiplied by, or one of them multiplied by two which equals the both of them. So the both of those ploughs working width is going to be 6 metres. Yeah, so we're generating this course for the both of them, which is 6 metres, 3 metres each. Our starting corner, as per usual, look at your map, decide we're going to go an opposite way from this and from what we have been doing it. Uh, we're on the north east and we are going to go southbound on this one, just to give this a different texture so that it's changing. Return to first point, not important. Headland, yes. So I want it to go out round. I want it to do the up and down motion first and then do the headland. And I want four headlands on this. So that's pretty much this side of it, the course generation done. So I'll just run through that to summarise. Field 13, hit the little icon, make sure we've got a blue mark out round it. So we're using two ploughs, so that's three metres multiplied by two to represent the two ploughs complete working width which is six meters and we are work starting in the northeast corner heading southbound and to headland we want it to do the headland up and down motion first and then go on to the headland uh, and it's going on a clockwise direction it's going to do four of those so we generate that now we need to save that out field 13 field 13 six two sorry two time plough Six meters. Didn't get any easier than that. Right. <coughs> so then we're going to jump over to the other tractor. I'm going to load that same course into that machine, which is field 13, two, two times plus six meters. Load that in there. Whilst we're on here, so this is the bit that gives you your offset. So if you can imagine these two tractors working, six meters. Half a six is three, so imagine a, a straight line down between the two tractors, which will be the three metre point of the six metre working width. We want to offset this left tractor to the left hand side. It's already done because I already done that. So the half a three is 1.5, so we want this tractor to work 1.5 metres from the centre line, which is three metres. I hope that's easy to understand and I've done it, cor I've done it correctly. I just hope I've made it easy enough to, uh, for you to understand. So, just to explain that again, 3 metre line, which is half of the 6 metre working width, half, so if you imagine the 6 metre working width, 3 metre line down the centre, we want to work 1.5 metres from that on the left, and 1.5 metres from that on the right. So, uh, as you can see it's already set to 1.5 on the left, you just adjust the offset, the lane offset, to 1.5 on the left, because that's the left tractor, symmetric lane change, deactivate that, tool offset, you'll need the tool offset, it should do it automatically, it should, because this here is the left hand tractor, it set offsets the tool a little bit so that it runs evenly up the centre line, uh, tool offset vertical, forget about that, forget about the rest of them, that's that tractor set up and we're good to go, so I need to just go over here to the other tractor and do the same, it's 1.5 metres to the right, because that's going to be the right hand tractor. And I'll just change it up to there. 1.5. Symmetrical lane change, leave that deactivate it. Tool offset to the right. That's. Series 9 is finished work. Yep, and that's good to go now. So. Right, <laughs> the mistake I always make is change the start at nearest waypoint to the first waypoint, drive course, 
see you later tractor, hang on, tell you even better than that, that's the other tractor, we need to start the other tractor first to make this look a little bit more realistic, so into here, first waypoint, drive course, right, a little bit of advice on this, give these tractors a bit of space between each other, There we go. Right, he's gone. Let go. Right, there we go. Let him go down now and do his bit. He should start on the right hand side now. There we go. Now that's where your tool offset comes into it. You see the way the tractor sets out? Why is he down to there. I just want to look at something here. It's a little bit messed up in the corner, so he should reverse right up to the way down there. Right, Pretty cool watching these work. I do like doing uh, doing the uh, using more than one machine on this. It is handy and it's really good. It's good to watch because they do it in sort of synchronized synchronized swimming. Um, I'm gonna hit here. This is why you got to give the tractors a little bit of space between each other because obviously. They should be alright on the next one up now. He says. Yeah, they've got plenty of space between them. So, we're going to leave that at that. Leave them to it. Uh, we'll just jump over to the... It's done. Right, now this field here is ready for a harrow. We are going to look at, in the next episode 3 we're going to look at setting course play up to harrow this field and harrow this stuff into the uh, into the dirt now that just gives it a bit of extra oomph for uh, using it as fertilizer so yeah hope you enjoyed the uh, episode today as I said before subscribe to the channel please and uh, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you've got anything to comment on any questions whatsoever to do with course play if I can help you, I will sure as hell help you if, we're, if I can. Uh, as before, if you've made it to this length of the video, thanks again. Can't thank you enough. See you in the next one. Goodbye.